Good afternoon, as folks are coming in. Welcome to the Sonic Foundation, what, mini summit, workshop, afternoon nap time, whatever you want to call it. Uh, excited to be here and uh, welcome to everybody. I think there's a lot of people coming in. So I'll keep it quick and short because I know you are all here for the geeky stuff. Mine is not. Uh, so for those of you um, who are not familiar with the Sonic Foundation, uh, this first session will give you a very quick update. And what I'll be doing is I'll be talking about even the higher layer things, which is Linux Foundation. So we partner with OCP very, very tightly. And um, the general um, gist of the whole partnership is if you have open hardware, you will need open software. And the two, if they work together, will give a lot of peace to silicon and hardware vendors so that you don't have to worry about things on the, on the higher layers of the stack. That's the general philosophy. And I think we've, we've gone quite a ways there to make that happen. So with that said, I'm going to give you a very quick overview of Linux Foundation and more importantly, the network operating system state. Okay? Uh, we've come a long way. And then I will also provide a quick overview of uh, the Sonic uh, Foundation software and where we are. And then obviously we'll get into, you know, Zen and Zanza will get into the more details of what it is. Okay, how many of you know what we do as Linux Foundation? Raise of hands. Less than half, more than half, or just sleepy, okay. We're more than Linux, obviously. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Linux Foundation, I would strongly encourage you to join, and here's why. Uh, we're the largest open source foundation, and we have um, a lot of sub-foundations within the Linux Foundation that allow technologies to be developed, so technologies like blockchain, or networking, or cloud, um, or markets to change, right? Whether it's automotive or film making, right? Anytime you hear an explosion in a in a, a motion picture, the software is from Linux Foundation Open Source AWS SF. So things like that. Uh, if you want to do grid modernization, you've got LF Energy, right? If you want to do Edge and IoT, you got LF Edge. So there's a whole bunch of sub foundations based on technology, as well as hardware and software uh, and standards that we now do. Uh, one of the sub-foundations, obviously, is Sonic. And before we get into the specifics of Sonic, you got to understand why these sub-foundations are important and how they all come together. So at the highest level, <clears throat> there are these vertical industries, whether it's uh, manufacturing, energy, oil, retail, etc., that all need solutions. And they need solutions, whether they're an enterprise, they're going through service providers, whether it's a cloud or a telecom, or whether, you know, a set of government. And government is a huge, huge part of our, e of our ecosystem, uh, specifically U.S. government and the EU. Um, and, and, and then how do you pull it all together? You pull it through something called blueprints. So we have this initiative under Linux Foundation networking called 5G Super Blueprints. As an example, it will pull in multiple set of projects, open source projects, and their software, and they will test it in an open community. And whether it's, whether it's Sonic as a NOS or anything else, it will probably include a solution that can be pre-integrated and pre-deployed. Now, the Fastest path to deployment is open source. Uh, we have seen um, almost a year shaved off proprietary hardware. So I'm not going to convince you on why open source is important, but I do want to show how things come together. And this is a this is a very important diagram, and it keeps on building over the years. Um, I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to explain it. We have three fundamental. Uh, sub-foundations. I'll start from the left, LF connectivity. This is everything that is including um, non-terrestrial access, uh, 60 gigahertz access, uh, rural, um, dense environments, right? So a lot of these projects actually connect 
uh, and these are open source projects, they make up part of LF connectivity. They come into something called Edge, and Edge essentially could be an IoT Edge, um, and again, from a market perspective, but from a terminology perspective, there's only two types of edges, a user edge and a service provider edge. And user edge is controlled by a user edge, service provider edge is shared. Those are the two terminologies for edge. And there's a whole bunch of projects on that under the LF edge umbrella. And then if you go into the core and cloud, you go up the stack. This is the largest, largest open source deployment uh, that exists globally. Okay, um, if you take the public clouds and go up the stack, this is where the NOS has come in, right? You have Sonic, which you'll know a lot more about today in terms of the features and where it goes. It's the largest network operating system. And then you go up the stack through Kubernetes, through the control plane, uh, through the data plane. Uh, and again, you have two choices of data plane. You can go DPD, KFD, IO, VPP type, open source, you can go eBPF, which is more on the kernel side of things, user plane, and you go up the stack through control plane orchestration into the applications, all the way to API through projects like Kamara that give you network API. So what we have done in the last 10 years is we have really open sourceified the entire stack left to right, up and down, okay? And each of these projects are huge, they have a community of hundreds of developers, and you can take advantage of this over your um, product or service and then build on it, right? So with that said, let me talk to you about specifically Sonic. Now, Deloro is one of the leading analysts, and they have come out with uh, a report that says, you know, six million switch ports are running Sonic already. And it just keeps on increasing. And we are starting to see not just the cloud data centers, but cloud as well as moving into the enterprise. These uh, data centers are, are really moving into the edge and using Sonic. Um, and so the adoption is getting there. As you can see, cloud obviously started there, uh, highly scalable data centers, but then it's getting quickly into uh, the top, uh, beyond the top four, okay? Um, if you look at Sonic, it's a long history. Uh, and I will not go into all of these things, but from a marketing and a social media perspective, very, very exciting. There's a lot going on in Sonic. If you have not participated in it, join the foundation. Very easy. Go to the website, click join, and you're good. Um, over 2,000 engineers like yourself, right? Uh, now, I know some of you might be hardware geeks, but hardware without software is no good. So I, I just want to make sure that people understand how this, these things are laid out, okay? And we have in-person events like this coming up. So let me tell you what has happened to the NOS market, right? Now this can, I can spend hours going down into the technical architecture of each of these NOSes. But five years ago, we had a very specific NOS for each market, okay? There was something called DayNOS for telecommunications. There was something called FBOS, which was a Facebook NOS. There was something called, um, um, I mean, I, I just don't know all the names, but there's like almost 10 different flavors, okay? Uh, then came two dominant NOSes, uh, Sonic and Den. Den started at the very extreme retail sort of uh, at campus deployments, distributed edge deployments, and Sonic started on the uh, core data center. And they move close to each other. And we have normalized and standardized on the OCP spec of Psi, right? So the entire NAS ecosystem, and this is huge because to the hardware vendors and the silicon vendors, you're not going to have to program to anything else, okay? This is the most important thing, and fortunately, almost all the silicon vendors are in the room or in the ecosystem that, that are really excited about this. So the, fr the only fragmentation that remains is a few new startups that are trying to differentiate based on higher layers of stack, not the low level, but higher layers of stack, and that is fine because this is a very, very dynamic ecosystem. So that's number one. Uh, what the number two is, Will there ever be one NOS that solves world hunger? The answer is no. Primarily because market use cases, placement in the network, size, 
cost, scale, all of these things determine what you use. You can't fit in Sonic on an embedded device, for example. You're not going to like work. You need an RTOS, or you need something less than 256 meg. At the same time, you can't use OSs like Photon on the core data center. It's just not possible. So you, you understand that. And so our job in the Linux Foundation is to make sure that as soon as we see synergies, as soon as we see commonalities, we take advantage of that and we set it up in such a way that developers and the entire ecosystem benefits from. So key message here is there are, uh, you know, each NOSIS will have a use case, whether it's data center, enterprise, or distributed, and we will have a common way of doing you know, abstraction for the hardware so that we can utilize and build software on top that does not have to be redone for every, um, every implementation of the system, okay? That's kind of where we are going. Um, and obviously, with, with some major events like the OCP, you know, fantastic event, uh, our partners, we also have one of our own events coming up next year right here in the San Jose Convention Center, which is the One Summit. If you guys, how many of you know ONS, Open Networking Summit, like 10 years? See there? 10 years ago, we started off in Stanford, right in Silicon Valley. We went around the world. It became a global event. Edge got added. Well, guess what? We're back in Silicon Valley next year, OK? So you know, register, participate, sponsor. The CFPs are open. So if you have talks that you need to submit, go for it. Uh, we will have a lot of representation from Sonic and our entire ecosystem. So with that, I am going to end and hand it over to you. Okay, yeah, you can hear me.